Hello, ladies and gents. It's the Macho Miracle here. Um, AKA Dyson. Phone's already vibrating in the video. Awesome. Uh, of course, it's charging, as always. Uh, that's why I'm always using this camera. And I decided I'm just going to always use this camera. You know? I'm just going to always use this camera. Probably. Most likely. Maybe not. Um, Oh, here's something that's really cool. See this? See this this light? Where is it at? Right there. Okay. Sorry, I'm looking at this at an angle. Okay. There's that light. As I walked in, it came it turned off. That was real cool. But, uh there's me in my window. I'm gonna close my curtains. Because it's nineteen. I don't want people seeing in here even though I'm up high, but people can see me from quite a ways away. They can see me from a ways away and see what's on my TV screen, even. Really cool. Really cool of them. Um, haven't recorded anything at all this week. Just uh, kind of a bland week. Homework, Naruto. Um, watching YouTube videos, making YouTube videos. Uh, and uh, more schoolwork. Uh, hey, I'll show you one of the schoolwork things I did. All right. You're going, here's the noisiest. Okay, see this? I'm going to make an 11 by 17 uh, poster for graphics communications. Get this in better light. Uh, for graphics communications. Okay, maybe we, maybe we do that. There's going to be kind of a glare on it, but I can fix that in parts of the video. Okay, see there's a PSU Gorilla Department of Graphics and Imaging Technologies. Photos that were provided to us. These are two of like the 15. Uh, some words about my emphasis area, digital media. Well, we could choose between like the six different emphasis areas. I just went with mine, which is digital media. And then there's this and this and this we put in there. And the background, I made like a gradient that was at like a 10 degree angle. And I tried to get as little orange as, in there as possible because I used the PSU yellow and the digital media red, which is... I believe the same as Pitt State Red. I'm not for certain. If they're not the same, then they're pretty dang close. The layout of this is supposed to, the gray part, is supposed to look like a Premiere Pro uh, workstation. But because of how, I guess, square it is, it doesn't really look like it. But uh, I could have done a lot better if it was like a horizontal poster. But it was supposed to be a vertical poster. So that's what I went with. And I, I think it turned out okay. There's some things I could fix or... Probably something I could do better, and all that good stuff. Enough about the poster there. Uh, tonight was senior night for my hometown, where, you know, seniors get recognized. It's the last home game. It was really awesome and fun and stuff like that. Uh, of course, I was there sitting next to my best friend who was in his military gear today. He had to do some military stuff. Uh, and by that, I mean he filled out a lot of paperwork. <laughs> Uh, which I'm sure he enjoyed, but he didn't have time to go home and change. He was like, I'm just going to come to the game. I'm going to come and watch the stuff. So I did that. Uh, I had fun. And then two of our uh, other friends, two of my really funny friends, uh, sat. they sat next to me. One was behind me, one was right next to me. Uh, Cole and Mark, they're, they're funny guys. I really, I really enjoy their company. I'm really hoping, I'm trying to get a... I'm trying to start a podcast sometime. I'm hoping I can get them on my podcast quite regularly because that would be nice and awesome. It'd be really fun. I'm going to sit down, so. Um, but yeah, that would be nice because they're funny guys. But uh, Austin, my best friend, is going to sit next to his little sister as a senior this year. Uh, and she did something awesome tonight. Uh, her team won, the girls won, the boys done it. They lost by eight, I think it was, so six or eight, something like that. They lost by, I think it was eight points. Uh, so, to a team that we usually lost all, to a lot by, that was pretty good. Um, and, you know, they played an alright game. It wasn't the best game ever, but it was a close, close game. Um, I had a lot of fun and all that good stuff. I'm sure they will have a lot of fun. But, uh, back to Austin's sister. Um, 
Austin being my best friend ever. Uh, he's like a brother to me. It, his family is like a second family to me, and that's true for my family. They're like a second family to him because uh, we're very, very close friends. We're, we're bro number one whenever it comes to friends. And then we have two other best friends that we share who are, you know, uh, best friends, not really like brothers, I guess, but very close to it. Uh, we have a stronger bond than uh, we do with the other two. But uh, Austin's not even my oldest friend. My my oldest friend is one of the friends that is part of our four-man squad, as we call it, uh, Justin. Justin is one of our best friends. And uh, me and Justin met Austin and Colton. Colton is the fourth one, our other best friend. We're, we're all four best friends with each other. Um, uh, well, we, we met Austin and Colton, me and Justin did, in preschool. That's where we met each other. Uh, we, and we hit it off right away. We were great friends. Like, right away, we were just, you know, we were a four-man crew, and we were awesome. And I had a lot of fun. And, of course, we were all in the same class together. We were, we were really good friends. Sure, we, being kids, you had problem growing up, problems growing up, and there were times when maybe weren't, we weren't as close friends as we are now, or used to be, like, and stuff like that. We had problems with each other sometimes, uh, but that's because kids are stupid, so, yeah. But uh, nowadays, it's just, you know, we're all really close friends and stuff. Uh, like, junior and senior year, man, uh, really, really good close friends. Middle school, we were, we were all right. Freshman year was kind of just rough on all of us because you're freshman. Uh, sophomore, it started to get better. Junior and senior year, of course, close friends. And now through college, we're closer friends. Uh, and all that good stuff. We're, we're, best, we're, we're best friends. We've uh, always been friends. Uh, we're the original four, is what I'm saying. Uh, I'm going to see how long I've been recording this, so you'll hear some noise. Seven minutes. Okay, I'm actually going to stop this and continue another one, so be ready for that. It's going to be awesome. All right, I'm back. Uh, anyways, back to the senior night game. Uh, Austin's little sister, Cassie. Uh, she's like a little sister to me also, and we're also friends, so there you go. Uh, but she scored her a thousandth point tonight, which was awesome. Uh, we were all very excited. Uh, that's the happiest I've been for watching someone score a thousand points. I was very, I was very happy for her. Uh, she deserves it. She's a very good basketball player. So I was super excited. Of course, her brother was extremely excited. Austin was just going crazy. Uh, he held up a big black sign that said a thousand points and Cassie on it. <laughs> and whenever it kind of quieted down, he yelled, "That's my sister!" And the cheering started again. It was a it was a fun night. It was a fun moment too. It was awesome. It was it was pretty terrific. Uh, and I enjoyed myself. And the homecoming game and the senior night game definitely the highlights of this year so far. And of course, the girls won, which made it even better. Uh, so that was cool. And uh. Man, it was, so, it was really awesome watching her score that 1,000 point. I, uh, oh, man, was, I, mean, I can't get over that. It was so awesome. Uh, and uh, the last person to score 1,000 points, uh, a guy in a class above mine, his name's Dakota, he was the last person to score 1,000 points, I think. I don't think anyone from my class did. No, no one from my class did. Uh, or the class below mine. She's two grades below us. I don't think anyone from the class below me scored a thousand either. So it's been two years, uh, no, three years since someone scored a thousand points. Both teams scored their thousandth against the same team. We had a home game against a town in our county named called Liberal. That's the name of the town. Uh, An away game in Liberal is where Dakota scored his a thousandth. Uh, and Cassie did this in three years. She scored only 65 point points her sophomore year because she got hurt her sophomore year. If she would have... Uh, she still got, you know, district games to do in their second seat, uh, which is really good, out of, the, out of the eight teams in the district. I believe their second seat. I don't know what our boys are. Our boys aren't going to be as high because uh, our, our girls have done a lot better. But they're going to be... Mm, yeah, they're going to be second seat, so they'll do pretty good. She'll score more points. Uh, at the end of the year, she'll get a basketball painted with her name and 
her total career points. If she could have played and didn't get hurt and played her sophomore year, um, she would have had, uh, I don't know how many points, probably like 14, 1500. Something crazy like that. That's just a guesstimate. Uh, I'm assuming it would be around there because uh, she's, she's very good at basketball. Um, and, yeah, no one from my class got 1,000 points in basketball and no one from the class below me. Uh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't even know if there's anyone close. Uh, honestly, I don't. I, I really don't know if anyone was close. Uh, I was the video... Uh, I was the video cameraman. I just I videotaped the games. I was manager, but that's what I did for all the games. And uh, for boys and girls, whenever I was in high school, and Austin played. Uh, Justin's last year as a basketball player, our, uh, my best friend Justin, he, his last year was our sophomore year. After that, he didn't play. He didn't want to play for the new coach we got our junior and senior year. Understandable. Um, and then, uh, Colton's last year was eighth grade or freshman year. Uh, he had some problems where he couldn't play. Uh, I think one of the years, uh, like the first year after the thing happened, uh, and I can't remember which one it was, uh, and I'm not going to say what it was. There's two things that happened where he, uh, couldn't play for one year after that. And then the next years, I just didn't think he, wa I don't think he wanted to play, uh, and the the coach, our my junior and senior year, was a, a part of that. <laughs> uh, he didn't he did not like that guy. And Justin wasn't you know a fan of him. He didn't really dislike the guy. Justin's not really like a, a hate person. He's just like, eh, you know, I don't like the, this person's just eh, or I like this person. There you go. There, there's Justin. He's a quiet guy. Uh, he's kind of a weirdo too, but you gotta love him. <laughs> so if you watch this, Justin, you're kind of a weirdo, but. I'm kind of a weirdo too. I'm a really big weirdo. And then uh, Colton is hilarious, and then Austin's just uh, a very outgoing, uh, very outspoken person. We have our own little things in our group of four. We got Justin the quiet one, uh, who might go crazy one day and kill a bunch of people. We don't know. Uh, we honestly don't know. Or he'll save the world. We don't know. Uh, who knows? Because Justin's kind of a weirdo. Very, very, very weird. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Justin. I love you. Uh, and then, then there's me, who's like the really cool one. Yeah, I'm the really cool, laid back one. Just kidding. I'm not really that laid back. Um, uh, you know, what? I'm just Dyson. There's no. I, I don't think there's really a way to describe me. Uh, well, I can't do it myself. I'm sure other people could give a good description of me. I'd be like, mm, that's pretty good. You know. I like that. You good job. You did a really good job of describing me. And then, uh, then there's Colton and and Austin. I don't know if I should describe them because, yeah, uh, forget the things I said about Justin because those are wrong, and the things I was gonna say about Austin and Colton are also wrong. Uh, I might seem I'm I don't want to sound mean, is the thing because they're they're my best friends. I can't I can't sound mean. Uh, <laughs> gotta love them though. Uh, well actually it's not mean. Uh, they might think it's mean, but it's not mean. It's not mean stuff. They might think it's mean, though. Because it'd be the tone of my voice, I think, or the way I said it, the way I word things, might might do that, because I talk weird. I'm, I'm funny. I can't... I talk funny. I'm not really that funny. Well, I am pretty funny, but not really. Well, actually, I'm hilarious. Uh, see, that's why I need someone else to describe me, someone who really knows me. Get, I need to get the three of them together. Uh, get well, get all four of us together, and the three of the three of us will try and describe one of the other ones. Have those three describe me. Have me, Austin, and Justin describe Colton. Have me, Colton, and Justin describe Austin. Have me, Austin, and Justin describe Colton. All that good stuff. Uh, that'd be pretty interesting, I think. Uh, I guess, I, and I just came up with that idea, idea just by talking about friends. Let's see how long I've been recording. Seven minutes again. Okay. So, really that's all I had to talk about. Congratulations, Cassie, on your thousandth point. Uh, if she ever watches this, doubt it. Um, but, uh, yeah. Definitely like a little sister to me. Uh, friend of mine. Can't really say how good of a friend or whatever, because I don't know. I can't really rate relationships uh, when it comes to friendship. I can't really rate that. 
because I don't know how, because it depends on the other person too. I know with the my best friends that we're all best friends. I know that for sure. And I know I'm friends with some of the other guys in my class, like Trevin and, and Zach. And uh, I'm buddies, I'm acquaintances, good acquaintances with Chad, who's the uh, baby of our class, uh, even though he's the tallest, biggest guy in the class. Uh, he was kind of a weirdo, but he's a mechanic and stuff, and uh, very talkative. He'll talk your head off, kind of like I'm doing now, but this is the most talking I've done uh, today. Well, all week, really. Uh, but now I'm going to play some video games. The last thing you guys are probably going to see is me playing my drums because I decided I'd do that for that you, for you guys. See, I can't even talk. I'm so tired right now. But, uh, yeah. Uh, be ready for that. It might be good. It might be terrible. Just kidding. It's going to be awesome because, uh, I'm pretty good at them. I'm pretty good at them. I'm an 8 out of 10, I think. Or 10 out of 10. Possibly even a 1,000 out of 10. Yeah, I guess you guys can be the judge of that, but it won't hurt my feelings, so whatever, if you say anything bad. Uh, Alright, good night. I'm going to sleep, because I need it. Yeah. Alright, I'm going to play some drums. My feetsies are going to be cold, because they're on metal stuff. On my hi-hat and my bass pedal, but uh... Oh well. Some swing stuff is pretty boring, but other swing stuff is not, like this.
from a song called Swing Machine I used to play in high school. Uh, that is New Orleans Mumbo Chumbo is the style of music there. My hi-hat's broken, so it doesn't sound right. It doesn't even open all the way. Hi-hats are supposed to open. So yeah, it should be open right now, but it's not. And then that's closed. Uh, it doesn't really close either because my hi-hat's broken, and the piece that would fix that is messed up, so I can't really actually fix it. That's really cool. Uh, but no matter. No matter. Uh, it still sounds all right. So, there we go. Uh, guess I'm going to play something else, so we'll see how you guys like it. All right. Should I play next? Uh, I don't know. I guess I can do a little bit of this. See, it just wasn't broken because then I could do some other cool stuff, other cool beats because I use the hi hat quite a bit with the opening and closing and stuff. So it's broken, I'm like, huh, I guess I use that a lot. It's used a lot. It's uh, the most used on the drum set, I'm pretty sure, because of all the, like, uh, for instance, the 16th notes that... Like that. And then there's the 18th, not the 18th note, 8th notes. snare drum is used a lot. I don't like playing it alone. I like playing this full drum set and full tom, large tom, floor tom, ride, and bass. Uh, and this is the setup that I like to use, this setup right here. This ride didn't come with this drum set, so that's why it kind of sounds out of place a little bit, but that's okay. Uh, I just wanted to play a little bit of drums on camera. Usually I don't. Usually I put in my headphones and they're down on the ground. I plug in my MP3 player, put it in my pocket, put the earphones in, and I play along with some songs, because I like doing that. Um, usually rock songs, and that I can do very well. And then other th stuff that I like to do, I just play random stuff sometimes. Uh, also, random solos, but I'm kind of tired today, so I'm not going to do that, but maybe next week you guys will see me do a solo. Because uh, I haven't really done it, well, it's not... I don't know, drum solos, whatever, you know, they're, they're cool. Uh, it'd be out of context to just really play one. Uh, so, we'll see. We'll see if I actually do one. Because I don't want it to sound like I'm just banging around on the drums. Maybe I'll play a little bit of like a basic drum beat before, and then lead into it, and then do it. Uh, and probably just end with the solo. But, expect that next week. But, I should, I have a lot of homework I need to be doing. <laughs> so, I'm going to do that. Uh, shorter macho life than normal this week, so that's good. I've been trying to make them shorter because they're not really that short, so we'll see how short it actually is because I like to talk whenever I have the camera pointed at me. I talk more than normal. Uh, I can talk a lot or I can talk not at all. I, there's no in between. I, I'm one of the main talkers or I'm one of the not talking at all guys in a group of people. Uh, and it depends on the day too. Some days I talk a lot, other days I don't talk at all. 
just the pins. So, hey, short matcha life. That's cool. I've been trying to aim for shorter ones because that there was that, what, two weeks ago where I had an hour-long one? Crazy. I shouldn't do that. I shouldn't do that. But yeah, uh, I'm going to go do some homework. Also need to eat. I'm starving to death. I should probably do that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh man, I forgot. I was going to wear my hat. I was going to wear my pit stay hat. Yeah, but I forgot to. Darn it. Okay. End video. Doo doo doo.